Alright, so we're going to move to area 13. Area 13 is the first neutral area that we need to visit. Speaking of neutral areas, let me break down what it is. These zones are basically areas where acts of violence are not permitted. They serve as a middle ground between the Federation and the Bats. At any point if the player shoots their gun, white colored soldiers will flood the area in an attempt to take out Lad. Anyway, let's continue to the right. Don't worry about the large red soldier here. He's going to talk a bit of trash, but he can't do anything. You can talk to the NPCs if you like, but be sure to go inside this building and there's one more we need to check a little further down. Well, I'm not complaining. We can always use bullets. Make your way across the bridge, then talk to the green soldier. He's going to tell you that there's flare bombs inside. We need these to light up the caves in Area 04. Oh, and be careful of the wall bounce, but sometimes it can help you. Once you collect the flare bombs, proceed to the right to exit the area. Now, we need to head to Area 04. Make sure to select the normal gun, the red communicator, and the flare bombs. At the start, head to the right. As you proceed, the level will darken. Press start to use the flare bombs. This will add light to the area. Now gravel over the bed of spikes and go further into the caves. Take out the knife wielding soldier and continue. At this point, grapple up to the communications room. Here's where we learn that there's other communicators out there and that the one we're using now works in areas 1, 4, and 5. My guess is that they're referring to the boss of this area. Anyway, Let's continue. Use the grapple and make your way up. Take out any and every soldier that's in your path. From here, go to the right. Now you can grapple the small area here, but you must swing and release at the right time, then do an upwards grapple, then pull yourself up. Oops, so we missed the platform at the right, but that's okay. We can proceed to the right and climb up. Now let's head to the boss fight. This boss can be a menace, especially approaching him from the front. Also, he has his own version of the grappling hook that can knock you backwards. The best way to defeat him is to lure him away from the core, then quickly make your way back over there and take it out. Once you defeat him, you will receive the wide cannon for all of your efforts. <laughs> 